everything must change, including the Dixie Theater in downtown Stanton. In fact, as soon as next year, the theater will have a new name. It will also be refurbished into a gathering place with a social hall and a place to see movies again. My husband and I are very excited to announce the new uh, beginning of a project called the Arcadia Project, which will have its home in the historic Dixie Theater and the building next door, which is called the Arcadia Building. Pam and Thomas Wagner have taken on the project which will also include renovating the Arcadia building. Arcadia project came about when my wife and I first came to town. We were invited into a conversation that had been going on for a long time about what to do with these two buildings uh, that needed repurposing here on uh, East Beverly uh, Street in downtown Stanton. Over a period of time, they asked us to take over the project. A group of people had been trying to repurpose the buildings for about 17, 18 years, and they hadn't been successful. And they asked us what we thought could happen in the buildings, and then we turned around and said, let's ask the community what they think can happen. According to Pam, the Dixie Theater was built sometime between 1911 and 1913. The interior of the building was destroyed in a fire, then rebuilt in the 1930s. In a style called Art Moderne, which is a very simple, streamlined, almost like Art Deco style. And we hope to honor that tradition in our renovation, but we're not gonna be slaves to making it look the way it looked in 1939. The Wagners say their vision for the renovation project was different from the original group and much more cost effective. We've been working on that vision. We uh, had to free the building from uh, debt to the bank, and we did that in the last few months by uh, um, going to the bank and negotiating a, a write down of, of the debt, which they very generously, a union bank wrote down 80% of the debt and we raised the rest of the money and now our nonprofit group owns the buildings outright. That cleared the way for a lot of people who were upset about that debt, uh, cleared the way t for the next round of fundraising because that's what we're gonna need to do to bring these buildings back. The nonprofit organization, The Arcadia Project, say they are committed to using arts and culture to rebuild community. They want to connect people through culture and creativity. Our vision was really, let's try to use the buildings kind of like they already are. Um, the earlier vision had been much more expensive and it had been about returning the theater to a 640 seat theater and returning it to how it looked in 1930. We feel that there's a real advantage to having the two downstairs theaters split in half because we don't have big audiences here in Stanton. We would like to open these buildings uh, as soon as we can as a kind of culture and art center. Um, focused on a new generation. There's a lot, there's a lot here in Stanton for um, people my age. We have the Shakespeare Center and uh, uh, a number of wonderful classical music uh, festivals. Um, but there's not a lot for millennials. Uh, there's not a lot, um, and I'm not saying that millennials aren't interested in Shakespeare, but they have a culture. There's not a lot um, that's welcoming for people of color. And it's our determination that that's an unserved um, community here. Millennials and people of color and families with young children feel like there's not a lot of culture that's geared for them. So we felt that was a target audience that we could serve in these buildings. And so we're focusing our programming initially around the things that they told us they wanted in the survey. The people heading up the Arcadia Project say it is scheduled to open in 2020. They believe once that happens, it would change the face of downtown Stanton. So our vision is take one theater, keep it as a movie theater with a projector, and use it for spoken word and movie festivals and projected media events. And the other theater, they're equal size, take it and build out a flat floor because our survey demonstrated that 80% of the people who took the survey wanted ballroom dancing. Now we could never have known that if we hadn't asked the community. So we're hoping to have a nice wooden floor that dances, music events, black box theater, and that type of event can happen in the other theater. The other goal that, that comes with the project is storytelling. And we're really committed to telling the stories of people in Stanton and of the buildings and of all people in Stanton. These two buildings have uh, a history and they have stories that are good stories and they have stories that are tragic stories. Uh, we want to preserve that history. So we plan to have what we call the Dixie Booth in this lobby 
a place where people can come and record their memories of coming to this theater when they were young, um, back in the 30s, the 40s, the 50s. Um, and I had one guy, uh, a subcontractor, come in here and tell me that he had his first kiss with a girl here in the Dixie Theater. Other people will remember more painful things, like not being able to sit in the first floor of that building and having to go up a separate staircase to the second floor. And we want to record all those stories. Check back with us for updates on the transformation of the Arcadia Project. In Stanton, Elaine Ragley for Breaking Through News.